The Sea Snail by Emily Joyce Hello again. Welcome to the counting ship. We've docked the boat and are about to take a walk along the beach. This meditation is all about feeling calm, but there are all sorts of adventures on the Counting Ship channel, so don't forget to subscribe. And now, if you're ready, then let's begin. Look out to the horizon, across the indigo ocean, and see how the waves gently lap the sea shore. The sand is soft on our feet, and the sun is warm on our arms and our legs and our faces. Look at that beautiful little shell on the beach. It's a perfectly spiralled, cone-shaped shell. It's almost completely white, with a peachy orange outline in the delves and dips of the spiral shape. And when you pick it up, we can see that it's the home of a little sea snail. Hello there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I've been found. This is it. I knew it was coming. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. He's wriggling around in his shell and he looks terribly worried. His antennae waggle nervously and his little body goes a pale pink. It's all right. We aren't going to hurt you. Oh my goodness, what a to-do. This is it. I've been fanned. I knew something terrible was about to happen. See how he pulls all of his little body tightly into his shell. He's very anxious indeed. No, really. We just like to make friends. Please don't be frightened. We won't hurt you. Are you sure? Are you sure it's safe? I knew it wasn't safe to stay on the beach. Yes, we're quite sure. There's no need to worry about us. Oh, sorry then, ever so sorry. It isn't just you. I'm frightened of everything. Every little thing gets me worked up. I'm frightened of the beach, I'm frightened of the sea. I hate loud noises, but it makes me feel nervous when it's all quiet. I just know something bad's about to happen. All my friends call me Shivering Sheldon. Oh dear, poor you. That sounds like a very tiring way to think, Sheldon. Why do you get so worried? I honestly don't know. I get dreadfully nervous about everything. I always do. It's like a horrible, messy feeling right in my belly. Last time I went into the sea, I was just getting down to the water and a ginormous wave came and swept right over my head. It swept me up and spanned me round and round like being in a horrible, salty washing machine, it was. I don't mean to be rude, Sheldon, but don't sea snails live in the sea? Yes, of course we do. I was just following my little brother for a walk on the shore, but he got back into the sea before I did, and I just lost my nerve. The little sea snail looks very sad and his antennae droop and his little pink body blushes red. There's nothing wrong with feeling nervous, Sheldon. We all get worried sometimes. Well, maybe they do, but now even my little brother is braver than I am. He doesn't get all so worried about things all the time. My mum says 
I should listen to my inner quiet. But I can't hear it. Inside my shell, all I can hear are the waves of the sea. Well, it sounds like your mum has some good advice. But inner quiet isn't something you can hear. It's something you can feel. We can all try it together, if you like. First, we need to take a long, deep breath. And breathe out again. Then you need to feel your whole body relax. Let go of tension and stop and notice the things around you and just let them wash over you. Wash over you like the sea. A bit like the sea, Sheldon. First, let sounds wash over you. You can still hear noises but just let them happen all around you. Let's try it now. Just listen. Good. Now, let your thoughts wash over you. You can still have thoughts, but just let them happen. It doesn't matter what they are. Let them be, but allow them to wash through you. In and out, like your breathing, or like the waves on the shore and all the time allowing everything to take its natural course feeling relaxed and peaceful as everything happens just as it will and once you've taken a moment to find this still place Everything slows down. Everything feels perfectly ordinary. But you start to notice that there's an inner quiet deep within. And to find it, you just need to relax and connect with that inner quiet that inner peace. You're right. There is an inner quiet, says Sheldon. I didn't even know it was there. Wow, that feels so much better. I might even go down to the water and listen to my inner quiet. <laughs> That's a good idea. Why don't we join Sheldon? on the edge of the water and feel the waves lap gently at our toes. Sheldon's little shell is gently carried through the water and into the waves and he looks relaxed and peaceful as his body does just what it was made to do and without even trying he's carried safely away safely back to his brother and his home isn't it peaceful to listen to your inner quiet to let sounds and thoughts and feelings just wash over you and the best part is it's always there 
deep inside you whenever you need it. And now you can just relax and I'll see you aboard the counting ship soon for another adventure. Good night. <laughs>